A pastor asked me to share some thoughts with you about faith promise giving for world missions. You may call it grace giving for world evangelism or whatever term you want to put on it, but faith promise giving has impacted my life in a profound way. Over 30 years ago, when I was a teenager, the church that I grew up in held its first missions conference and began teaching about faith promise missions and really just revolutionized the missions program of that church. And I personally got involved as a teenager in faith promise giving. And uh, since that day, God has been increasing my faith year by year and, and allowed me to give to missions to support missionaries around the world. And uh, God has done so much in my life because of it. But I love the biblical pattern and example we see that really starts in the book of Acts with uh, God calling the Apostle Paul. He heard the Macedonian call and uh, he was led by the Holy Spirit to go into Macedonia. And he started first in the city of Philippi, preaching the gospel and seeking to win souls to Christ and baptize them. And of course, we know that he organized a church there in Philippi. We later have the book written to the Philippians. And these Christians in Philippi were so impacted by the grace of God. It affected their hearts and lives that they became burdened about helping to send Paul to other cities and other places to preach the gospel there as well. So we can read in Philippians 4 that the church at Philippi sent once and again unto Paul's necessity. You know, whether it was month by month, whether it was financial support or offerings of some kind, but they were helping to meet the physical needs of the Apostle Paul as he was meeting the spiritual needs of other people. And so when Paul left uh, Philippi and goes to Thessalonica and Berea, we know that Paul, uh, sorry, the church of Philippi was sending support to help meet the needs of the Apostle. Paul. What's even better is that it continues to grow from there. We see how not only the church of Philippi, but the church of Thessalonica and Berea, they also become wonderful grace givers. Because after Paul left Macedonia and those cities there, Philippi, Thessalonica and Berea, he went into Athens and went into Corinth. And we can read in the book of Corinthians that the churches of Macedonia were very generous, very liberal uh, in their giving uh, to the Lord's work and to the needs of others. Specifically in chapter 11 of 2 Corinthians, we see that the churches of Macedonia had a part in financially supporting Paul, meeting his physical needs so that he could preach the gospel into the regions beyond them, into the Achaia region, into Athens and, and Corinth. And so we see many Christians whose hearts were being affected by what God had done for them and the grace of God in their lives, and they became wonderful grace givers, uh, helping to meet the spiritual needs of other people by sending Paul and Silas and, you know, that team of missionaries to go and preach the gospel in other places. I love what it says in 2 Corinthians 10 around verses 15 and 16, where Paul then in speaking to the church at Corinth, after he's, you know, reminded them in chapter 8 and 9 about the, you know, the wonderful grace of giving and, and so on of the churches of Macedonia, and, in, and he encourages them in chapter 8 to, that they should abound in faith and abound in utterance and so on, but also abound in the grace of giving. He wanted the church of Corinth to do likewise to the Macedonian churches. But over in chapter 10, he, he makes this statement to them. He says, when your faith is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you. And then in verse 16, to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you. And I think this pattern that we see of first the church of Philippi uh, giving to help support Paul in taking the gospel to Thessalonica Berea is then followed by all the churches of Macedonia, who then the grace of God impacting them caused them to have uh, an increased faith and love and desire to get the gospel to others. And so they helped to send the gospel into Achaia. And then Paul here challenges the church at Corinth. When your faith is increased, we'll be enlarged by you, we'll be helped by your gifts, we'll be helped by your offerings, uh, so that we can go into other places where the gospel's never been preached, and we can give the gospel to them as well. And I would recommend that to your church as well, that when your faith is increased... We, or, or missionaries, will be enlarged by you. They'll be helped by your financial giving and your support so that the gospel can be preached in the regions beyond you. You know, the Great Commission is not just for us to take the gospel to our local area, but to the ends of the earth, that the gospel may be preached to all people in all nations. And uh, I am so thankful that God over the years has increased my faith. 
And uh, year by year, God has encouraged me and helped me and convicted me to give more and more to the cause of world evangelism or world missions. And God can do the same in your life, and God can certainly bless you abundantly because of it. Philippians 4 is a great chapter because we read again of the Church of Philippi and their giving to meet the needs of Paul and Silas and so on as missionaries. But the promise that's made there in Philippians 4.19 was made to them very specifically because they were a church and they were believers that were concerned about world evangelism. They were concerned with world missions. And so Paul, inspired by the, by the Holy Spirit of God, made the promise to them, but my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And that promise was specifically for the church of Philippi because they were missions givers. Uh, they, were, they were impacted by the grace of God, and they were giving to help send Paul and Silas to Thessalonica and Berea, and then, of course, into the Achaia region to spread the gospel to other people. Let's all be involved in it. I personally am still involved. Though I'm a, a missionary in Canada, I'm still involved in faith promise giving for world evangelism. And I give cheerfully and I give aggressively and, and because it's my responsibility as a Christian to get the gospel, not just to the place I live, but to the ends of the earth. And may I encourage your church to keep on giving, allow God to keep on growing your faith and increasing your faith so that many more missionaries can be enlarged by you or helped by you so that the gospel can be preached in the regions beyond you. Thank you for considering these thoughts and I hope that God will bless you as a Christian and bless your church as you continue to love the Lord and, and try to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. Thank you so much.